uh, addressing you based on issues that has been going around and nobody is saying anything about it. Uh, it is well known fact that um, there's ethnic profiling of Fulanis. Wherever you see a Fulani man, there's an ethnic profiling and trying to always align him or her with things that are not good, crimes and criminality. But on the silent aspect of all these things is the fact that a lot of people do not or never care to ask for these Fulanis that are alleged to be doing one or two things that is said to be bad. What is it that is also being done to them? Nobody has have asked that question. Nobody cares to ask or nobody cares to know. Now, we have a delegation of uh, Fulani leadership coming from Benue, Nasarawa, Taraba, and uh, Plateau to lay complaints to the Northern Consensus Movement leadership as they, they believe that there's failure of leadership on the part of uh, those that they consider as their leaders, those that are ordinarily supposed to go and lay their complaints and those uh, groups of leaders are supposed to fight for their own right, but they believe that uh, they have failed them, so they are they have approached the Northern Consensus Movement and lay their complaints. And among which, after these complaints, uh, we are addressing the media to let the world know what is going on. And the Northern Consensus Movement will take their case personally, we will pursue it, we will follow it to a logical uh, conclusion. For the fact that, having listened to them, we discover that um, they are being cheated, they are being silenced, they are being killed, their properties are being stolen, and nobody is saying anything, as well as nobody is doing anything. For example, uh, let's take Benway State. There's this anti-grazing law that was enacted by the state governor. Everybody knows that uh, the Benway State governor is even uh, is not even obedient even to the federal government. So if he is not obedient to the federal government and is fighting everybody, there's no reason why uh, his, own, uh, his own fault will not be set out. So it is discovered that there's a law, there's the so-called grazing law, enacted by the Benway State government, which at the initial stage was supposed to be if for any reason any cow is arrested, the cow is to pay 2,000 naira. But now it has turned out that uh, they now find it as a business. It is now a lucrative business in Benue State to arrest Fulanese and their cows, even if they did not commit any offense for the fact that uh, they have no voice and they have nobody to speak or fight for them and monies will be collected from them. Under these anti grazing laws, uh, uh, like I said, from 2,000 to 50,000, there's one Alaji Lel Woyeru, whose cows were arrested, and for him to recover them back, he has to pay 14 million naira. For God's sake. A full animal who is fighting, struggling, fasts. The government has not provided, even in the plateau state, they have not provided either school, no medical facility, no grazing areas. No, even where the Fulanis will water their cows. They move from point A to point B in trying to make life, uh, make life move forward for them to be able to cater for themselves and for their families. And somebody will just come because he is government or he is in government or because he has power over them to arrest their cows and then begin to ask for monies that are un un unreasonable as far as we are concerned. Even if you are trying to get uh, revenue, you should adopt other means of making revenue, not capitalizing on uh, 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 people who you know has no power to fight back and then you do what you do. Now, 14 million naira from Alhaji Lelu Ayeru, just like that. Another one, Alhaji Sanu Tulimi, 10 million. The likes of them in Taraba in 20, on the 28th of August, 2021, about 510 cows of Fulanis were arrested. 510 were arrested. They were asked to pay money. They paid 10 million naira. But in return, only about 380 of the 510 cows were returned. Still, 128 cows missing. And nobody is accounting for, the, for this one. 
another in Taraba in Wukari local government, another 216 cows were arrested and on return 103, 103 cows are missing and nobody is accounting for them because these people have nobody to speak on their, on their behalf because people have no power to fight and at the end of the day if someone who has who is having 500 cows uh, arrested and he paid 10 million and on return 128 is missing and that person fights back you call him a criminal who is a criminal now who is committing crime or you call him a bandit who is the actual bandit under these circumstances this is why honestly the government most especially government at the center need to take a proactive measure and this calls for the reason why the northern consensus movement is organizing a three days fulani summit that fulani summit is coming up in the month of march and it will assemble all the fulani artists the circum fulanis all fulani recognized fulani leaders those that are known to be fighting for the cause genuine fight for the cause of fulanis will be assembled youths and women in fact we've gone further to invite uh, Lamidos of Fulanis from eight African countries Cameroon, Chad, Niger, Ghana, Central African Republic, Mali, Benin Republic, and Sudan. All this we've invited, and Togo also, we've invited the Lamidos and they've agreed to attend this three day summit to discuss the prospects, the problems, and the prospect of Fulani. Whether anybody likes it or not. Fulanis, most especially in Nigeria, constitute about 15% of the GDP. These are independent people that don't depend on government. God has so blessed them with their own riches, but they ask nothing of government. And also the government don't even do anything for them. But even at that, that they are on their own, trying to fend for themselves, to take care of their families. But even at that, some certain people in the name of government are pursuing these people and extorting them and stealing their property. And later, they are the ones that will be addressed as bandits or criminals or what have you, when actually the real bandits are somewhere. But like we said, we will follow this up to a logical conclusion. If they don't have a voice, now that they have come to us to complain, we are their voice and we will continue to speak for them and we will fight their cause as if it is our own cause until we get to a logical conclusion.